Hi, I'm Lucy Beecham, and I was honored to serve as the Mistress of Ceremonies for the first Women's Leadership Conference for the Prince William Chamber of Commerce. This was the first event of this kind to serve the citizens of Prince William, the City of Manassas, and the City of Manassas Park. The Prince William area has received many accolades for job creation, for economic development, and for educational achievements. Many strong women are behind the success story of our community. The Women's Leadership Conference provided a forum for these women to get together, to talk, to network, and most importantly, to learn from each other. Most importantly, I think, was the seven keynote speakers. These were all strong, successful women, and we learned much about their success stories and their tips of how to be a successful female in the workplace. Our first panelist, Delina Knaus, owner and chairperson of MTCI Management and Training Consultant Incorporated. I'll ask Delina to please come forward. MTCI has been maximizing human potential for more than a decade. We specialize in professional training, training analysis, resiliency training, curriculum development, curriculum design, recruiting and staffing solutions, logistics support, and IT services for government and corporate clients. Our challenge was to find ways to strengthen our business development process. We've looked at ways to strengthen our business development process by first getting back to the basics of business development. This included networking. Getting involved with the Chamber has been phenomenal. We've gained so many potential teaming partners just by attending the events, by getting involved. And I might add, she is a member of the Board of Directors of your Prince William Chamber of Commerce. So thank you. Our next speaker is Marlene Parson who is Vice President Organizational Development at NOVAC, Northern Virginia Electric Cooperative, and most importantly, my electric provider. So, Marlene. I was asked to share my success story, and one of the most difficult things is to talk about myself and also to put a lot of years into a short period of time, but I'm gonna to try to do that. One of the things that Diana asked us to do was um, to share some pointers for success. And I'm going to begin with one that I want you to think about as I tell my story. And that is, it is important that we define our own success rather than strive for success as defined by others. We all have a different path, we all have different talents and skills, so it's important to do what's right for us as we reach for success. The second pointer that I want to, to give you is to know your business, understand the big picture, remain current in your career field, and achieve results that create value to the company strategy and goals. One of my strong personal drivers is challenge. Another is a focus on the big picture and long-term strategy. My third pointer is to learn from your experience, accept your disappointments, value your strengths and weaknesses, and never stop learning and growing. Our latest panelist is Karen Wayne. She's the community executive with the American Red Cross of the National Capital Region. And before that, she was here in, in charge of our Prince William uh, Red Cross. So we're delighted to have as our next speaker, Karen Wayne. Hi everybody, what a pleasure it is to be here and what an honor to be sitting up here with three very accomplished ladies. I was just delighted to be able to come and share with you. When you talk about success, I think success is so personal and we all define it differently. Be open and willing to try new things, to not be afraid of failure, to not be afraid of mistakes, but to challenge myself on a regular basis. So I hope that you are always open to new ideas and new suggestions. My journey is still in, in, in the beginning stages. I'm always ready for a new opportunity. Life is a journey. Success is defined by you and the people you know and love. So may you all have a wonderful life's journey. Mine is just beginning. How about you? Thank you. <laughs> Well, 
We'll start with Becky. She's the author of Sun Tzu for Women and recently named one of Washington Business Journal's 40 Under 40. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause to Becky Sheets Runkle. All right, is everybody having fun? I'm going to talk to you today, and you should have handouts on your tables, about how you can gain a competitive advantage in your business and your career using Sun Tzu's Art of War. Now, if you're drawing a blank based on that title, it's going to be a lot more clear as I go on. We're going to talk about how to utilize our competitive advantages based on the art of war. I want to talk today about a formula for success. I want to talk about two primary things. Number one, what are your professional career pitfalls? How are you holding yourself back? The second point is, what are your uniquely feminine attributes? Do you know what they are? And are you applying those? And we're going to talk about that against the backdrop of an ancient military strategist named Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu said, victory is often found in taking the unexpected routes. The answer is in strategy, and that's at the heart of the art of war. Don't think in terms of hours. Make them know how you're better. The answer is in strategy. You must utilize your uniquely feminine attributes. Next, we have somebody talking about the value of relationships and how to use your chamber membership. And there is not anybody better to do this than our own Mary Finnegan. Mary. Thank you. One of the best things I got out of the chamber, I have to say, is learning to how to be a volunteer and learning how to, to do parties, to event plan. That is a skill that I learned at the chamber that, is, that has literally gone through my life and has helped me. Um, I, I, have, I learned how to be a great party planner. I learned how to do seminars and conferences. I learned great negotiating skills. Public speaking is another thing that I learned from the chamber. I spent five amazing years as, as, as then executive vice president of the Prince William County Greater Manassas Chamber of Commerce. And I learned so much, it was a wonderful opportunity, but the very best thing I have to say that came out of those five years was the friendships that I built. We joined the chamber because it was the right thing to do, to be part of your community, and it's a great, it was a great place for me to find vendors, for me to know who to be my printer should be, you know, who my doctor should be, who my dentist should be. It was a great, that was one of the best things that we did. Networking is a, is a wonderful opportunity the chamber has to offer. Leadership training. The chamber, like most things of life, you get out of it what you put into it. But in different times of my life, I have not been able to put into it as much as I would have liked to, and I've always gotten something out of it. So you have to remember that you're not paying membership dues, it's membership investment. It's an investment in your business's future, it's an investment in your personal future. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Erica Moore. I'm with Legal Shield, and the conference so far has been incredible. Uh, I would encourage anyone to come back next year. Um, a little bit about Legal Shield: we provide a unique employee benefit where we're able to allow people to have access to some of the best attorneys in the country without paying $300 an hour. Instead of $300 an hour, $17 to $25 a month, the employee benefit allows um, employees to stay focused at work instead of on their personal problems. My name is Gail Arnold and I'm with Healthy Body, Healthy Biz and I do wellness coaching for women entrepreneurs um, that are experiencing overwhelm and stress. And I came to the conference today um, because I do work with women entrepreneurs and being within a group of many women entrepreneurs, it's very powerful. And um, the women here are really positive and um, it's really nice to have this event here in Prince William County because I live just around the corner. Hi, I'm Shannon Joy, proudly representing Capital Group Benefits. I was really excited to come to the conference today because I love to be a part of things that are helping women have exposure in the county. And I also personally, being with Capital Group Benefits and helping employers and individuals obtain health insurance and work on employee benefits, I love to help local businesses. So I've been lo looking forward to the conference and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. And so far, it's been wonderful. Thanks so much. I am Patty Baisden. I am Vice President of QMT Wind Chimes. We are a manufacturing company here in Manassas Park. As a company, I thought it very important to sponsor the first uh, women's leadership conference here sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce to encourage women in business and empower and to share the word that women in business 
are successful and will be successful. QMT Wind Chimes um, has already committed to being the sponsor for 2012 for the Women's Leadership Conference. I am hoping to be able to bring young women to that conference, um, hopefully from one of the local high schools or more than one of the local high schools in the Future Business Leaders of America Club. QMT Wind Chimes is proud to be a founding trustee of the Prince William Chamber of Commerce. In that role, we want to support the activities of the chamber and the different businesses in the chamber. This event of the Women's Leadership Conference is just one example of ways that we are able to help support the Chamber of Commerce in our community and the businesses that are a part of it. My name is Rebecca Von King. I'm from Imagine Design. We're a full service graphic design marketing agency. I participated in the Women's conference in a number of different fashions. One, I was part of the planning committee. Two, I, we, my company helped design the logo and the look and feel of the event. And I really wanted to be a part of this women's conference because there are so many amazing business women within the chamber that are inspiring and are powerful that I, I felt a privilege to be just around them and to work with them and to hear what they had to say. The 2011 Women's Conference was so incredible and so inspiring that we are so looking forward to being a part of the 2012 conference to see what happens next and to see what other inspiration is being brought towards us. As chairman of the Prince William Chamber of Commerce, I was proud to be a part in the launch of successful programs such as this one that is sure to become a signature event for our chamber.